Crazy. Hello, hello everyone, Hi. and welcome to another Les Mis Q and A. And I have the wonderful Carrie Anne Greenland here with me, who plays Eponina, and she's going to answer your questions today, much like Paul did. Same little bottle. <laughs> yeah. Which you can buy in any Seven Eleven. Charlene Vi Viril Lay. Sorry, Charlie. If you could play anyone else in Les Mis, man or woman, who would it be and why? I think Madame Tenardio would be really fun. Yeah. I can see you doing it. <laughs> when, when the movie came out, we hadn't started auditions for Les Mis in Australia yet, and my parents watched it, and Dad called me and said, Carrie, you know, I saw Les Mis, and there's a character in it that would be perfect for you. He said, the Helena Bottom Carter role. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one, Madame Tenardio. And then I was, a few months later, I got cast as Eponine, and he was like, hmm, didn't see that. <laughs> Kane Burton, have there been any onstage mishaps? Oh, well, no, there was a good one the other day where um, our beautiful sound guy, Paul Chris, he um, pressed the scream a bar early, so there we were, you and I looking at each other in um, the attack on the Rue Plume, and I wasn't doing anything with my mouth, and all of a sudden the scream came, yeah. and then I was like, Oh, this is Keiko, lovely Keiko, she's I've met her. If you had a chance to duet with any artist, who would it be? Who would it be? Anyone. Celine Dion. <laughs> Have you ever seen the video of Celine when she sings Memory? No. But she's lying on the floor dressed as a cat. No way. <laughs> I'll put that in my, um, I've got an, a, an actor's playlist. Yes. I'll, I'll put it in my playlist so you can see it. <laughs> Dana 2460 done. <laughs> Yeah. Very clever. <laughs> How was it when you first found out you were playing Eponine? I cried, <laughs> and then I called my mummy and I cried some more. I shared. Peter. Cesar, How many trench coats have you worn, and which is your favourite? Oh, she's got a dirty one, and then a one that's dirty and covered in blood, and then a really, really clean one. I guess just my normal dirty one, because I wear it most often. Is that the only one you've had for the whole time? Yeah. Yeah, because they're pretty sturdy, they're those really trench sturdy. coats. They're really sturdy. Carla Star, what's your fave food? Ice cream. I love ice cream. I could sit there with a tub and just down it. Ben and Jerry's back in Australia, that's a brand that I just love. Eh. Eh. Jonathan Lazaro, if Eponine didn't die, <laughs> what do you think will happen to her in the end? I reckon actually that Marius would still get with Cosette and Eponine and Cosette would just be really good friends. I've imagined before that, you know, in the epilogue at the end, after everyone's left, that Cosette and Marius are still on the ground there and Eponine as a ghost comes back to Cosette and does the confrontation, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I am a ghost warning you, you Cosette. Cosette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a stronger ghost, ghost by far. far. <laughs> or she just gives her a little <laughs> slap before <laughs> she leaves. <laughs> Not 24601. What is the hardest part of doing Les Mis? It's a very emotional show. It's very high vocally. We like yell a lot as well. Like a, a lot of the vocal stuff, we, we ha it has to be very, uh, 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 you know. Exactly. We do a lot of shouting as well. And shouting, and... a lot of grovel in the voice, a lot of <sighs> full volume. <laughs> yeah. So you've got to be as loud as you can, but as gritty as you can. Yeah. It's amazing the sound that is produced mm. for the audience, but it's very exhausting. Yeah, and it's kind of a lot of glottal. Yeah. Which they always say to you, don't, you shouldn't do glottals as a singer. It like slams the vocal cords together, is what's technically happening, which isn't great. They should like, you know. <laughs> Not be going. This <laughs> one. Lyra. Hi. Among all your scenes in the show, which is the most challenging physically and emotionally? The little fall of rain is very difficult because you have to pretend like you have been shot, so you physically have to feel it, but at the same time, you have to fight through because you don't want to die. So it's emotionally, you know, you're you're trying to do one thing while physically you're trying to do another and show another, so it's, it's a bit of a... Ooh. Josmin, what is the most memorable thing a fan gave you? The lovely artist who drew a picture of Eponine against the wall and Cosette and Marius there. Yeah. Oh, the other one was a fan back in Australia who made all of these little dolls for us. So I've got a little Eponine doll and mm. even like Comfair has a little doll with a flag <laughs> and you know. That's so cute. Like that. Are there someone who draws like um, yeah. little caricatures? Yeah, there's and a lot even, of And they did one... What's that? Sorry, my phone's not on the side. It's me. Hi there, Bishop of Dean. Is this um, just a tweet that we're getting in right now? <laughs> yeah. Arch Marlin, you've just made the video. I watched that 16th of April. Oh. It was one of the best and most awesome things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's made me feel so nice. Thanks, keep up the good work. 
Thank you. Down a six. Uh, down a. Oh my. Down a two. Oh my god. It's down a two four six. Are done. Thank you. Ah. What do you usually do before a show to get into character? Just because I am in the ensemble first, and then I get into Eponine. So I usually actually find a spot just before Paris to sit in the dark a little bit mm. and watch people. I have a moment right at the end. Yeah. I think you've probably seen me as well for the bishop, sorry, in the epilogue, where Rachel, as Fontaine, is on stage and she's lit by one light. Mm -hmm. And you're standing waiting to go on. Yeah. I stand in the right place. I see both of you and the light, the light is shining on all Aww. of us. And it just kind of makes me feel like, okay, here we, yeah. you know, we're going into this sort of ethereal kind of place. Silly. That's cool. What do I do? I sit and stare at watch people in the dark. That's a bit <laughs> creepy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I scare them, that's fun. <laughs> you do, sometimes do. you jump out of me. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Caitlin Smith, what song did you sing for drama school? Caitlin Archie from Australia. Hello. And you had to sing um, a ballad which I sang, A Nightingale sang in Barclay Square. Nice. And then I sang Defying Gravity because I'd seen it on Glee. I didn't know anything about Wicked, but I saw it on Glee like the week before. I thought it was a good song, thought I should give it a go went into the audition saying, you probably hear this all the time, I'm so sorry. And they were like, we really don't. People don't sing that yeah. for their audition yeah. songs. Because it's sang too it. hard. <laughs> yeah. Not 24601, what are your dream roles? Maybe one day, I want to play a lot of roles that I can only do when I'm older, like Mrs. Mm. Lovett and, you know. Well then, she has so much variety as yeah, well in her character. Yeah, she's a bit dark and comic and yeah. everything. Yeah. And then the reveal at the end where oh. she's been so like duplicitous. Yeah, let's both play it. <laughs> Can we share? Like, you yeah. do one night and I'll do Yeah. <laughs> See if anyone notices. You're very good at answering these. Thank you. Dominic C. Acampo. Mm -hmm. Is it weird to die on set every single day? Most of the time I don't really think about it when I'm dying, but yeah, there have been a couple of times where obviously I'm not actually dead, so me as the as Carrie is lying there pretending to be dead and then maybe something might, like someone might bang a gun on the floor and it makes me jump, but I'm like, no, I'm dead, don't, don't react. Say again. Any basic tips on how to stay fit and healthy and pretty like you? Look, nah, I don't have nothing, mate, like. <laughs> you do. I eat burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you stay fit, you do yoga. I do, I, I do like a bit of yoga, but I'm not like a constant worker out or So in other words, nah. <laughs> nah. Sorry. <laughs> nah. Let's do these quickly. Okay. I'm gonna pick them for you. Okay. Okay. If Eponine did not die, do you think she can move on from Marius? Yes, she'd get it on with Confair. Paul's fave dance move was too cute. What's yours? My favourite dance move. You too, Matt. I don't know, I'm in the wings and stuff, I dance like <laughs> Did you see Paul's? No. Oh wait, I did. His was. <laughs> What's my f- I, I don't- I know what I really- I love a jazz pants. Oh, down to the floor. Cesar Obligado, name a Disney character you would like to play. Ah, uh, Little Mermaid. How does it feel touring with a new set of castmates? It's really cool! You just know new people. Yeah. Like this guy. Jean, Chloe, second album plans? Ah, uh, maybe, if this one sells. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a lovely album. <laughs> lovely. And a podcast. Yes! On my own with... That's it! Oh, I'm gonna win! <laughs> what are your inspirations? Who, what motivates you to do your best? Uh, just other performers. People just fighting for what they want in life. Yeah. Yeah. Like my mummy. She's not a performer, but she's awesome. Do you play other characters in Les Mis? Yes! Have you worked with any international stars before? No. <laughs> Have you ever cracked when you sing a high note during a show? Yes. <laughs> Can you do magic tricks? No. <laughs> Have you guys tasted Filipino food? Yes. Yeah. Do you truly believe in love worth dying for? Sure. Have you ever ridden a jeepney? No. Uh, no, but I love them. I love your podcast. Should we expect another one before Lay Miss closes? Yes. <laughs> Would you play Fontaine given the chance? That'd be cool. Did you ever want to play Cosette in the production? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Cosette. Do you think Eponine could be best friends with Cosette if they set aside their differences? Yes. If both Andres and Eponine survive the night, do you think there's a chance they'd fall in love? He's got pretty great hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he has. Maybe. He's got a cute smile as well. Anyway, there we go. That's it. We're done. Oh. <laughs>
Thanks, Matt. Thank you so much for coming yeah. and doing this. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'll see you next time. There will be more Q&As. I have people lined up, but I'm not going to tell you who. <laughs> so you can keep guessing. And um, until then, lots of love and see you very soon. Bye. Did I say thank you? Yes, I did. Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Awesome.